I think one of the uh, good new applications of data science is in the medical field, like in drug delivery or cancer treatment. I think a very interesting one is how now companies can use all the information they are gathering from their customers to actually develop new products that are respond to the needs of the customers. A good new application of data science was the, the high trained uh, news of Pokemon Go. So they use the ingress, they use the data for of the ingress app, the last app of the same company, and they they choose the locations for Pokemons and gyms according to data from the last app. So they they learn with their errors. Google search is a application for data science as uh, it's the Google search, whenever we want to search anything, so I think it's all because of data science. Uh, whatever Google is now, it's all because of data science. Augmented reality is my favorite uh, new implementation of data science. I think you can't look at a new technology and not see data science in there, but augmented reality is the one I'm just the most excited about. The ability to walk around and see things on walls or around us that aren't really there. Pokemon's just the start. So what has happened is that now the tools are available and the data sets are available. People are applying them with not much um, diligence. And, and I think one of the strange cases which got reported in, in the newspapers is about the story of a father walking into a Target store in the US and, and complaining about the fact that uh, the Target was uh, sending mails to his teenage daughter about uh, diapers and, and, and milk, baby formula, and he was angry with them. He said, why would you like me to, for my teenage daughter to be, to, to have a baby? It's, it's, you know, I'm, and he was obviously disturbed by this, this, this mail or the ad campaign, and they obviously apologized. But then the father returned two weeks later, and he apologized to them, saying he didn't know his daughter was um, pregnant. Now the question is, how did Target know this, this thing before the father knew? And what has happened is that they, they would look at the purchasing behavior of individuals. So if you're buying certain, some sort of supplements or uh, vitamins, then you know that this, this is the first trimester of pregnancy. So they know what products to to send to you, um, uh, if, if assuming that the person who bought those supplements were pregnant. Now, this is a great story about data science and how data science can forecast and predict um, these these um, d consumer behaviors even before the family would find out. And I find it disturbing and strange and odd for a variety of reasons. First of all, for every correct prediction, you have hundreds of incorrect pred predictions, which we call the false positives. And no data scientist actually advertises his or her false positives. We only advertise and, and, and promote what we got it right, but when we got it wrong hundreds of times, we don't tell it. Second thing is, that's an abuse of data. That's basically not really giving you much insight. You've just found a correlation, but someone could be purchasing the same material for someone else. So, the, and then the, the odds of getting it wrong and the odds of getting false positives is much higher. So I find it strange and I think um, it gives this false sense of our ability to predict the future. The reality is about data science and the most important thing for the budding data scientists to know that all forecasts are wrong. Um, they're useful, but they're wrong. And, and so one should not put their faith into the fact that now that we can num you do predictive analytics that we can solve all problems. I think w a good example is the Google um, search um, and, and Google published a paper saying that they can predict flu epidemics before the Center for Disease Control. And what they did is they, look, they were looking at what people were searching on Google, so flu symptoms, so Google saw the flu symptoms uh, searches before that and before anybody else and they were able to predict it. The thing is, um, uh, these searches are good and they are correlated with some outcomes, but not necessarily all the time. So at that time when Google announced it, it was a big thing and everybody really liked it and said well, that's a new era of predictive analytics. Only that a few years later they realized that Google started to predict uh, the false positives. That they were predicting things that were not really there or their predictions were not that accurate for a variety of reasons. They changed probably their algorithms and the data sets were not not really correlated with the outcome. So w w what's the, le the lesson to learn here is to one has to avoid what we call the data hubris, and that you should not believe in your models too much because they can lead you astray.
data science has tremendous potential to bring um, change in parts of the world, in parts of our society that have been disenfranchised for years. One sees great examples of data science, especially in developing countries, where they are targeting relief efforts. They're targeting um, um, food and other aid to individuals, to places that have not been targeted in the past. And the reason it is happening now is because of the greater availability of data and our models and analytics to be able to pinpoint where the greatest needs are. Um, the ability to design and conduct experiments to see if one were to give microcredit, small loans to very poor households in developing parts of the world to see how they affect the individual households ability to get out of poverty and also the local community's ability to collectively um, improve their uh, economic well-being um, by just very small infusions of cash or credit. So these experiments happening all over the world are allowing and that is a direct result of our ability to analyze data and be able to design experiments and then roll out um, humongous efforts in providing relief, providing credit, um, providing an opportunity to those who have been disenfranchised in the past, an opportunity to join the rest of the world in, in prosperity and happiness and health.